It's just funny. Please add morbed up. All right. The inner sanctum. It's just an office. I can imagine what morbed happens. up is. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure. Just give me a sec to get Can this can you repeat yourself, please? This is where the magic happens. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. Sure. <laughs> okay. Yeah, let's just make this quick. Let's just make this sure. quick. Just give me a sec to get just this. Just let going. me just give me a second to get this going. Okay. And engage. Podcasts. Weird. Yeah. Podcasts. Right. Let's just make this quick. Friendly. What are you listening to now? This dude's about to turn into Stanley Ipkiss from The Mask. Uh, what's it called, the one that you're listening to right now? Uh, Bizarre Yet Bonafide. Let's make this quick. So, like, ghosts and stuff? It's like... Uh, so, like, ghosts and stuff? It's, let's just make it's this like, quick. Um... Yeah, like the the weird and the wonderful, digging up weird mysteries and it's like it's say what you mean and mean what you well, say, you know? Bona fide. Boner fide. So Get true, it. dude. <laughs> Your wit knows no bounds. So, you noob. Should we check out what Mr. H keeps in his private den of sin? Uh, I don't know, man. I feel a little weird going through his stuff. You knew. Okay, well, I don't. I mean, come on. What kind of dirty secrets is the owner of a summer camp full of impressionable young children going to have anyway? <laughs> you knew. Not Mr. H. I know. He's cool. He's cool. Let's just, like, invade cool his me. privacy real quick. All right. If I was hiding a secret in here, you noob... I mean, you gotta go straight to the desk drawer. That's that's a gimme. You start at the desk drawer and you move your way back. Uh, or or the crawl space underground. Well, hello. What is this? You noob. You hear that? Is that a trap door? <laughs> Let's let's be playful. Dude, I love the smile, dude. I knew that there was a secret sex dungeon around here somewhere. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I bet you Mr. H is into some real kinky shit. Uh, I doubt it. Weren't there a couple counselors who never showed up? Uh-huh. Why? Secret sex dungeon. Yeah, it's not funny. It probably just goes to the basement <laughs> or something. Open it up. <laughs> All right, well, it looks like a pit of eternal darkness. So. Sanity's Requiem. Dramatic. Climb down, take a look. Look, you can squeeze through there. You opened it, you climb down. I mean, we should shut the trap door, but of course I'm gonna climb down. Path chosen. Cause you never know, dude, we could get like a flare gun down here or something. Or like a flamethrower. He's venting. What's down there? Oh my god, Ryan, you will what? not believe this. What, what, what? It's nothing. Oh, hey. I had you go in there for a second. No, don't breathe in the spores, man. Maybe. Just shut up. Maybe that's the real bad guy. It's it's psychoactive it is, spores. Uh, pretty spooky down here, though, and it smells very unnatural, so... Yeah, okay, I'm coming back up. It's too late. He's already been... He's already been affected by the spores. They're already in his bloodstream. He's gonna turn into that dude from Prometheus who turns eight feet tall and his head starts to Ooh, melt. That's a nice chair. I could get used to this. You better hope Mr. H doesn't catch you taking his baby out for a joyride. <laughs> he's morbed up. He'll never know. Come on, he's not gonna know. Okay, just be careful. What do you think I'm gonna do, break it? Come on. Oh. His office is actually, like, <sighs> derelict. A anytime anything gets used, it breaks. <laughs> That's a design flaw. Mm. <laughs> He's just like me. Wow. 
Well, well, well. Let me guess. A secret Bible. <laughs> I mean, a secret notebook. Oh. Laura Kearney and Max Brindley. Oh, yeah. Those are the ones that never showed up. Yeah, it's because of these goobers that we had to work extra shifts this summer. You noobs. Clue discovered the counselor's ledger. Dude, you see the spores are in the air up here now, too. I, I, I actually think I'm calling it. I think that by opening the trap door, we unleashed psychoactive dust into the air that's going to lead to us hallucinating and shooting each other. But then also there is a real monster, too. Hold on. Billy Big Mouth? Billy Big Mouth? Never mind. Yo, my guy. Toss me the keys. Uh, so you can poke around in Chris's private area? Don't worry, it's just asbestos. Uh, I'm sorry, is something that only you're allowed to do? Hardy har har. <laughs> Come on, what's the harm in looking? It's... You're not a little bit curious? I'm not gonna touch anything. Fine. Don't let me regret it. Can't promise that, but... Here we go. Oh. Nothing nailed it. <laughs> you're using that wrong. Only missed the one QTE so far. It's a shame I'm going to have to play through the whole game to see how the events huh. will change from not missing the pothole in the golf cart earlier, but it is what Fashion it is. Icon. Mr. H knows what he likes. Sure he does. Wow. There's... Yo. Pants? Hey, hey, maybe we shouldn't... What the hell? Uh, psychoactive spider webs. Whoa, what the fuck? Yo, These Mr. Monitors, H. This is the camp. Huh. Is Mr. H spying on us? No, no. I mean, no, no, he can't be. These are just, they're all different trails in the woods around camp. <laughs> sure. Most of the cameras are pointed away from camp, so it's not like he's spying on the kids. Unless they wandered out into the woods. You know, these are just probably just trail cameras. Just well, trail cameras, trail man. Cameras. People set them up podcasts. to catch weird, random shit. I heard okay, about yeah, them on the podcast. Like uh, Bigfoot sightings, you know, that kind of thing. Maybe he listens to that maybe podcast. He into that kind of stuff. Shit, maybe he likes that podcast that you listen to. Secret hobby, I guess. Expensive. I refuse to believe that David Arquette yeah, is a bad guy. What else are you going to do out here? Yeah, I guess camp probably does get pretty lonely when there's no one else around. Yeah. You noob. Okay, but why go through all the trouble of hiding this room through a secret door in the closet? Uh, I mean, it's not exactly secret, right? Like, it's just <laughs> hidden by stuff. Yeah, that's what a secret is, Brian. It, it's weird. It's majorly yeah, weird. I don't disagree with you, but it, it's it's got to be something juicy in here. Dylan, okay. it's it's none of our business. And if you really want to know, you can ask him tomorrow. Sure hey, Mr. White, what's up with your secret sex yeah, dungeon yeah, perv lair in Narnia? All right. I I'm leaving the secret lair. Have fun. Hey, you just don't get any damn reception in here for my podcast. Okay, just take a look real quick. Dude, he is, he's got a microphone. There's no way he's not podcasting in here. We're going to see something. If you wait long enough, you're going to see something. What was that? I told you. It's probably nothing. <laughs> it's Mike Ehrman Trout, man. Probably just the damn wind. Okay, so situation normal. I thought that was a tarot card. Huh. Okay. 
okay, they never made it to the camp, but their family thinks they're at the camp. That's why they're getting all these letters. Interesting. 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 Maybe they were sacrificed to the hag of Hackett Quarry. Maybe they're the prologue. Yeah, they're probably the prologue individuals. You're right. Do it. This should be like the scene from Life is Strange without licensed music. You just realized that? You don't know, man. You don't know. It might not be. Can you? I just want you to close the door up real quick. Could you? If you, I... double skill. Leave the door open. Okay, Bruno Mars. There's a whole lot of wandering. Where am I? I'm back in the office. Okay. I need to pick up my phone. It's at 26% charge. Nice. Zoomer voice. That should be enough Full to get me up. through the whole day. You know what? Continue exploring for now. <coughs> Pardon me. Excuse me. There's another direction we didn't go. And maybe we'll have more phone battery life at that point. And that may save us later. Whoa, there's some pretty heavy-duty stuff in here. Yeah, maybe let's not touch the- Ibuprofen? This guy's fucked! Yeah, there's nothing fun. Okay, what about- we, we should be at least at like 55% by now. Let me just- oh, You know what? I didn't check on everything over here. I didn't check on this. Hey, what's the gun for? Uh, Chris- Mr. H told me it was for, um, bears. Bears? Here? In the woods? Yeah, yeah, he said they don't really come around because he's got the gun. It's true, word travels fast in the bear community. Yeah. <laughs> Just leave it alone. Leave it alone. What if we need it? Dude, what if we're out partying tonight out in the woods and we end up in a sort of most dangerous game situation? I'm like the only one right now who knows that people. we're in a horror movie. I yeah. think it makes sense yeah. for them to have yeah, guns. I mean, think about it. It's camp is over and hunting season has just begun. True. What if, what if, okay, bear with me here. What if what's on the menu tonight is us? Well, then I guess we would need to protect ourselves. Exactly. That's why we need the gun mm. for protection. Yeah, not going to happen. What about for fun? No? Okay. Yep, yeah, yep, yeah, totally. Well, we know where the gun is if we need it. We could just take the gun call, though, and like not use it. We could just take the gun and be like, eh, you know, if we need it. If I did it. Family photo. I've discovered a clue. A younger looking camp leader, Chris Hackett, with his two kids. They look happy. Now that's a damn clue if I've ever seen one. Kaylee and Caleb Packett. Weird kids, huh? I like them. Yeah, me, I, me too. Um, Why did everyone think this is Ryan Reynolds? This man. David Arquette, man. That doesn't look like Ryan Reynolds at all. It. I, it looks nothing like Ryan Reynolds. It looks exactly like David Arquette. You guys are face blind. It's 100% Ryan Reynolds. You're actually insane. This looks like nothing like Ryan Reynolds. Holy shit, that's David Arquette. Thank you. It's literally David Arquette. It's not Ryan Reynolds. You guys, you're face blind, man. You got to see a picture of Ryan Reynolds. I keep one on my well, desk so I know. Hey, give me your number. I want to try it out. Why? 
Oh, no reason. I just thought it'd be nice for somebody to call you for a change. Oof. Good Oof. burn. Good burn. Thank you. I thought it was pretty good. Hello? What? Yanny? Who is it? Hello? Father, how do I text the rotary it's phone? I thought I thought I heard someone. Maybe we should stop touching stuff. Fine. That was probably Ryan Reynolds on the phone, right, Chad? It sounded just like him, right? Okay, now it should be about 100% by now, if I had to guess. Nice. 28? All right, that's pretty good. Let's head to the party. Hey, Dunzo. All right, cool, let's go. <laughs> you noob. Nice throw, you noob. Thank you. Twenty-eight percent is not enough. As when I when your phone is at fifty percent, it's fully charged. When it's at forty-nine percent, it's empty. It's the rule of phone charging. The first rule of phone charging: don't touch my diet cokes. All oh, right, yeah. Um, you guys need to get a snack or something. I forgot. What's the second rule? Don't touch my Diet Cokes. Let's make this quick. Power rankings have changed a lot, by the way. Jacob is now up at the top. Ryan is a serious buzzkill. I thought he was like the only one with his head screwed on straight, but instead he seems like an idiot. He found a secret lair and he's like, oh, it's not a secret. It's just kind of hidden. Ryan Reynolds, you want me to crush this can in front of the camera? Because I'm so angry that you keep thinking David Arquette looks like Ryan Reynolds. I mean, they do kind of look. They, they have a similar look. But they don't look the same. Did you read the post on Twitter about the guy who quit Diet Coke for a month? I didn't, but I saw that there was discourse. What was the discourse surrounding the, the Diet Coke uh, quitting? I drink like a, maybe two Diet Cokes a month. But... There are people out there who like love Diet Coke. There's, I'm, th raise your hand in chat, honestly. I bet there's a hundred people in chat who drink six Diet Cokes a day. Three a day, four a day. One a day in middle school. Two to four a day. Six seltzers a day. Why? Look. Don't insult me. <laughs> Here's the post verbatim. <clears throat> okay. I used to drink tons of Diet Coke, but it's been one month since I had a drop. I want to share some of the changes I've observed in myself over time. My health is unchanged. I'm less happy. My one source of joy is gone. Thanks for encouraging me on this journey. That's just a funny tweet. I, I mean, I, but that seems like a tweet that's in reply to the original tweet. It's a lot easier with Mr. H's chainsaw. It's really very pretty out here when there's no kids around. What do you think you yeah, are? Kind of obnoxious, huh? Yeah. <laughs> Don't worry, but just give it a sec. Give it a sec. It's it, they always seem to listen. Just loading up. You've seen my class? Just walking by. <laughs> You've seen my class? All the way. Out, the art cabin's all the way out of the way. Yeah, well, there's this shortcut that I take that goes by. Star Wars Episode 2. Which way should we go? Why don't you choose? Two roads diverged in a yellow wood. We go to Shady Glade or Rocky Road? Dude, Rocky Road! There's an ice cream! Good choice. Better sticks this way. Better sticks? Yeah. They're like burning or whatever. God, Alex, you're so stupid. Haley would know just what to say. Think we've got enough? 
Uh, not yet. Agreed. I just got here. Can I have a TLDR? Well, like, to be honest, you haven't really missed anything. And I know, like, I'm having a good time, but this is the setup before the dominoes start to fall. Basically, there's a bunch of camp counselors, uh, and they decided to stay one extra day after the end of summer camp. But there's something nefarious going on. A, uh, the, the boss warned us to stay inside, and we promptly said, F that. Danger. Falling rocks. Let's, let's stay in the forest. Also, Ryan Reynolds is in the game and he has two kids. There's no wood this way. The, the hanged man! Let's go! To be the hanged man is to surrender and by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider that sometimes one needs to be strung up in order to be let go. That is flight. We could really use that. I'm not going in there. Are you crazy? Into the canyon? We got to in-jog it. I forgot. They haven't given me that tutorial yet. So, you ever think about what's next? Like, after we die? It's heavy, man. I've been listening no, to a I lot mean, of podcasts like lately. The future. The price of gas. Yeah. Sometimes. All the time. It's so overwhelming. I know what you mean. Sometimes I just try to, like, let it happen, you know? What? Like, whatever happens is what was meant to happen. So true. Like, it's all predetermined. Fate. I wouldn't. Uh, actually, it's not fate. Uh, we in the podcast community prefer to re refer to it as kismet. I don't know. I'm not sure we're supposed to know. Yeah. Fate just seems so convenient. How so? Because if it's all predetermined and you do something terrible, then you have the excuse of saying, well, it wasn't really me because everything's been pre-planned and then I'm not really in control of my actions, am I? Shallow and pedantic. I never really thought about it like that before. I mean, well, it's, it's totally okay if you believe that. Yeah, no, totally. Bro, she's asking yeah. you to have some ambition, okay? She's looking for a provider. Can't be this laissez-faire about your future. I'm gonna need you to get this baseball long sleeve off, put on a collared shirt, maybe put on some olive colored shorts, and do something with your life. Lady, you're actually blocking me. You're at, lady, you're blocking me. I need to go down the stairs. I can't get around this way. Oh, never mind. It's the problem with people these days. They just don't want to work. So true. Also, welcome Kim Kardashian to the chat. Today's episode is dedicated to uh, Kim Kardashian. I'm not going into the canyon. It's, it's a danger falling rocks. Well, that was a nice little conversation we had. I can I see what she sees are. in him. Yeah. Up here. Yeah, we're at the we're at the damn sure. camp. This view is just. Roses are red, violets are blue. Something is stinky, pee pee poo poo. Playful, do me. 
Do me. Oh, sorry. I'm, I'm just trying to get this down. Oh. Right. Sorry. <laughs> Dumb idea. Uh, I believe I the emote this. for that is uh, Dies of Cringe. Super Cringe. Scott's Tots. You ever get hit with the, oh, sorry, I just have to jot this down? Those are green sticks. What kind of campfire is this? Yeah, everyone knows when you're making a campfire, you can't take green sticks. Because that means the wood is too new, which means it has a high moisture content. That means that it's not going to take to the embers well. I've, I've seen Survivor. It makes green fire. Dragon fire? You hear that? Did you hear that? You, did you hear that? You say that? Did you hear that? Did you say that? It's probably nothing. No, listen. There's something there. That's a rabbit. Or a wild boar. What the hell is a little taper? So tiny. <laughs> Zilbug, oh God, so thanks for the gifted subscriptions. Thank you, Zilbug. Oh, hold on. Hold Watch on. out for the mother. Save, a save Abby. Okay. I, mean, I got to focus, but how did I know that that animal was a wild boar? Safety tip six, don't breathe. You're in danger. Hunted by a creature of indeterminate origin. Don't breathe. You need to stop breathing. If you're thinking of breathing. Into taking you for nothing don't. but a corpse. And where's the fun in hunting then which is already dead? Watch the visuals alter or listen to the sound change as the threat approaches. Annie. When the danger has passed, run. Pick the right moment and run for your life. Be warned. Exhaling or running at the wrong time may just mark you as the creature's quarry, causing serious consequences. There's no way I'm dying to a damn boar. That's all you need to know. Release when it's safe. Bro, get the hell out of here. Uh-oh. Safe enough. Safe enough. Jeez. That was close. That wasn't even one of the scary no, wild <laughs> boars, dude. It didn't even have, a, a, like, a tusk. I think I could have just picked it up. See, it, it's actually I a boar. Think it was a boar. I told They're you. They're pretty nocturnal, so you don't see many of them during the day. Oh. Well, actually, boars and hogs are both just terms for wild things. Uh, well, actually, <laughs> uh, animals in the family Porceus don't like to be called pigs. They like to be called hogigs. So, um, go back to animal school, nerd. I don't believe that the notebook can fit in the backpack. I think she's got a TARDIS in there. Back. My other backpack is a TARDIS. Actually, it's just a boar, you noob. Well, that was fun. She's a Redditor? No doubt, man. 
r slash funny mod spotted in the wild. This game will get scary, okay? It's just slower than average because it, like the loading screens are 20% of the game right now. Finally get my phone back. Finally get my phone back and it's just a big dumb brick. Finally get my damn phone back. It's just a big dumb brick. Come on, man. I'm going to look around real quick. I'm going to take a photograph of this. We'll look in the window later and we will spot Lance Henriksen. Hey, Caitlin. Guess what? Mr. H is a voyeuristic creep. He has hidden cameras everywhere and a secret room. No, that's not... Uh, whoa, now, back up. What? His eyes are everywhere. He's always watching us. Look it off, man. He, he just got... Trail cameras. Shit he just likes to right? watch the forest, dude. Oh, you don't think that's weird? Well, he's got a perimeter to check, kids to protect. You know, probably just to keep track of wildlife. You guys have no imagination. So, uh, what's going on here? Everything right? I think you split the difference. I think he's jerking off to Bigfoot. You know what? There's a weird light in the treehouse. I did see a weird light in the treehouse across the lake. Yeah, that was pretty spooky. Maybe it's your girlfriend, Ryan. The Hag of Hackett's Quarry. I told you never to say Hag of Hackett's Quarry again. What's wrong with saying Hag of Hackett's Quarry? Are you done? Is this the part where we're done? You know, I just realized we may never see each other again after tonight. You can't have just realized that. Just trying to set the mood. What mood? The mood, the vibe, you know. Speaking of setting the mood, I have work to do. Okay, because playlists don't make themselves. I mean, I guess they do, but... 28% right, right, phone battery life. Wood. Just begging for a, a single Word. electron. Oh, I know what I said. Abby, Nick, just in time. We got wood. <laughs> You've already done that joke. <laughs> it's mostly just kindling. Oh, that's all we need. There's already a big pile of logs here. In your pants, maybe. We could have gotten more, but there was a hog or a boar. But Nick was very, very brave and took one for the team. The Hog of Hackett's Quarry? Oh my gosh, it can't be. The Hog of Hackett's Quarry? What? Thought you hated that phrase. God, plus two? Big jokes take big sacrifices. You're so brave. Oh, I just want to shrink you down to little pocket people and put you in my pocket and peep at you when I need a little pick-me-up. <laughs> what the hell? Okay. <laughs> she want to fight? What did I do to you? Ryan thinks you're making Special fun of him. Delivery. There's that's not foreshadowing. Where the hell did that gun come from? Dude, relax, okay? It's not even real. You telling uh, me that she's gonna I mean, real gun, shrink them down in a little pocket people, people like an Ernest so Scared yeah. Stupid? I don't think okay, so. Okay, fine, fine, we'll put it down. Thank you. Guns are no joke, dipshit. And and we bring you a hand-picked selection of only the finest that Hackett's Quarry has to offer. No freaking way. Yes, freaking way. Pop, pop, peanut butter, butter pops. Pop, pop, pop them in your mouth. Pop! I didn't even know you could still find these anyway. Oh, hey, hey, cool your jets there, cowboy. All right, these are spoken for. Dude, you can't just shove those in my face and not expect me to want to pop, pop, pop them in my mouth. Come on. Buy a nickel for every time I use that line. What, you gonna shoot me over them? No, dumbass. Okay, we are going to shoot for them. Nah, dude. Absolutely not. No. I'm not leaving you with a gun. Okay, there is no way I'm leaving you dillweeds alone with a gun. Come on, look, the shooting range is like right over there, okay? It'll be fun. Okay, look, you and me, old-fashioned shootout, first prize, Peanut butter butter pops all to yourself. You can't waste the ammo, Dude, you noob. I guess you don't really want them then, huh? Fine, you're on. Yeah, boy! <laughs> yes, sir! Jacob, hand me that gun now. 
I mean, nobody's handling any firearms if you're gonna act like a dick about okay, it. Okay, then you can be the ref. We need an objective third party. Okay, we're trying to get a party started here, Jacob. Okay, well, the main party's not gonna die just because you're off on a little side quest. Come on! Now that could be foreshadowing. All right. Yeah. Guess we're gonna have ourselves an old-fashioned shootout. Yeah. Look, there's a clearing we can use as a shooting range back there, but if I see either of you dicking around, I am turning this car around. Why is she loading it? No, she's loading it with uh, blanks so that nobody gets hurt. <laughs> I'll be loving you. You'll be loving me with your sweet heart. Baby, gonna get down to the rip tide. I'm gonna wait to the dark side. I'm gonna. B I didn't have as much time as I so, thought. Just so you know, I was an expert marksman. Third class. Third class. Three years in a row. You okay there, buddy? I'm in camp each year. I'm just letting you know that your goose is cooked, Nick. But if you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter. I'm just letting you know that your goose is I'm cooked, I'm just Nick, letting you know. If you back down now, I might let you just have one little peanut butter butter pop if you're lucky. No way. You've never even seen me shoot. Yeah, that's because you've never shot before. Yeah, not that you know of. <laughs> okay, I think I would know if okay, you'd actually... Okay, boys, I'm going to have to stop you right there. As much as I'm enjoying your charming machismo, the moment we step foot on the shooting range... We're playing by my rules, okay? And what I say goes. Got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, good. Now I'm gonna go set up some targets and get more shells. Do not move a muscle or touch his gun until I'm back. All right, so is it just me or is it kind of hot when she gets all bossy like that? I'm always hot, pencil Yeah, deck. okay, thank you. Bye, bye. They've got a great rapport. So, um, how's your little one-on-one -on -one with Abby in the woods? It was, it was okay. I almost got killed by a wild boar. So, I mean, what happened? Well, we flirted a little. She's really smart. She's like yeah. insanely smart, dude. Mm, yeah. You can tell from the size of her backpack. She doesn't need textbooks because she's got all the knowledge inside her head. We all get performance anxiety sometimes. You just better make your move before a real man swoops in. Speaking of, let me show you how a real man shoots his gun. Are you guys seriously still thumping your chest at each other? No, I think he's got brain damage. <sighs> okay, please, just give me the gun. Uh-uh. You'll have it when I say you'll have it. All right, huddle up, boys. This is how we're going to do this. Yes, ma'am. You're shooting the one on the left. Nick first, then Jacob's turn. Keep your fingers off the trigger till you're ready to shoot. You got it? Aye, aye. All right. Two things. Remember the spread. Remember the recoil. This is a shotgun. We're not sharpshooting here. The okay. flashlight shows you where you're aiming. Quick combat tutorial, if you don't mind. Uh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be click the left mouse button, but... This is the final tutorial. We made it. I'm sorry to have to say, there may well be times during your stay at Hackett's Quarry where you'll have to defend yourself <laughs> using potentially deadly force. When engaging in combat, simply aim your weapon and shoot where the flashlight is pointed. Nailed it. Take note, if you're up close and personal with your target, you'll do more damage. The farther away, the larger the spread, and injuries may not be fatal. There's a time and place for the use of weapons, and you may want to consider all your options. Remember, it's not always wise to pull the trigger. That's how people get hurt. They're like, hey, you got a license for that? Okay, I'm ready. Gonna use backspace. Ops. Okay, we're supposed to shoot the bottles, right? All right, Nick, one point. Okay, we're too far back to do any real damage. Let's scooch forward a little and uh, fuck these guys. How up. was that a fail? That was good. Thank you, good. I hit one bottle. All right, Nick. This time for real. That was just my practice shot. I'm getting two points right here. Hey! That 
That was a quick what scope. To you, Nick? Good job, Nick. All right. I can't be beaten. Let's see what you got. But when I win, I'm gonna share. All right. How does that sound? You might want to uh, avert your eyes, Nick. I don't want to give you any more performance anxiety. Uh, all right, all right. Just shut up and shoot, Jacob. I thought you were an ultra elite pro marksman. Yeah, with like a rifle. Ooh, hey, whoa, 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 dude, hey. No, okay. You probably would have missed me anyway. Hey. Okay, disqualified for being a dumbass. What? No. Good game. Sorry, Jacob. Better luck next time. <laughs> Butter luck next time? Hey, I didn't want to <laughs> say it, but you're both very mean. <laughs> Holy cow, she's cracked. Blam. We thought this was over. What the whoa. She's insane. She's shooting beers that weren't even there. Pop pop peanut butter butter pots. This girl is good. I know how this sounds, but you can really tell, like, um, the difference between, like, a great actress and a middling actress when they have scenes with each other. Like, only one person that was on screen in the last scene was in a, a David Fincher movie from 2010 that's considered one of the best movies of our generation. Who? Brenda's song. She played the lady from the social network. One of the ladies. Okay. There aren't that many ladies in the movie. To be honest, it's mostly about Mark Zuckerberg. But people, we might never see each other after tonight. Let's make some memories. Well, what do you have in mind? How about the ultimate game of secrets and lies? Truth that movie is cheeks. But you guys are crazy. Style. That movie is good and okay. also rules are. great uh, Trent Someone Reznor soundtrack. Truth or dare. I mean, score. And you choose, and then you do. And there's no, no ifs, ands, ands or buts. buts. Well, maybe a couple so, like, buts. Normal truth or dare. Okay, well, you didn't even take the easy low hanging fruit, yes. you noob. So we can, like, make people kiss? If they choose dare, yeah. As long as everyone consents, of course. Cool beans. I mean, keep it in your pants until it's your turn, but. Well, who does get to Great playlist, Dylan. I love all well, the royalty-free music. So. How'd you find all this royalty-free music on Spotify? Abigail. Truth or dare? Um. Sure. Really dodged a bullet, huh? All right. Here goes. Have you ever slept with anyone? Oh, uh. uh. I... Chad, I don't think we should be watching this. This is uh, just a little uncomfortable. I'm gonna interrupt to to save hey, her. Take it easy, man. That's too far. Come on, I, I'm not finished. Um... Dylan is annoyed. Have you ever slept with anyone at this camp? <laughs> no. Nope. Sorry. All right, Abby, it's your turn. <laughs> Saved. All oh, right. Okay. Um. Oh, Abby. Oh my God. Just pick someone. Date relax. Okay. Okay. Um. I don't know. Oh my. Okay. Pick someone. Pick someone. Jeez right. Louise, man. Truth or dare? Dude, you take dare every dare. time. Give me what you got. Okay, Ryan. Your dare comes with a choice. Can't you do that? I can do whatever I want. <laughs> dare and or I dare? I dare you to kiss either Caitlin or Dylan. Wow. I mean, I guess both is off the table. Sorry. I don't make the rules. I mean, you literally <laughs> just did, but okay. Let's do this. I mean, come on. Caitlin, shall we? That's a gimme. Always happy to please. Doesn't have to be anything weird about it. Look, 
just the normal kiss on the mouth, and then we all go sit awkwardly and don't make all eye contact righty. anymore. Who shall I pick? Well, uh, me and Jacob haven't gotten a turn yet. I'm not an LGBT foe, okay? Who do I pick? Dude, you can't go back to... I love this FMV fire, by the way. You can't go back to Caitlyn right after you kissed her. It makes you look desperate. You got to give Jacob some All some right, support Jacob, here. Let's see what you're made of. Oh, there, there, man, come on. Okay. I dare you. To take a I dare you to fucking to die. Naked. Naked. I dare you to oh, burn dude. to death. Fuck yes! Oh, I will jump over this thing. I don't care. Yeah, I don't think that's a good idea. No, no, Jacob, wait, don't do it. Stop. Dude, I say veto. You're going to fuck yourself up. What? She shouldn't be recording no, on, it. I got this. Brian, come on. Fine, Vito. You know what? Fuck this game. All right. All right. <clears throat> Someone else can go. OK, fine. Then I call your turn. <clears throat> Whatever. Emma, there. Emma, so you have to kiss. Oh, uh, why don't I just call the game Truth or Kiss at this point? I wanted to kiss see the it? fire jump. Or. Nick. Well then. Um. Uh, sorry, Nick. This is not uh, even there, obviously. I don't know if that's a good this. idea. I choose Nick. I didn't even have control over that. Dude, she's throwing a she's throwing a monkey wrench right into the spoke. She's taking the rotor arm off the engine. Guys. Caitlin, you see? That's how the game's supposed to work. I love her. She's so messy. In 2022, we love a messy queen. He's good. You're like kissing my girlfriend, asshole. What? It was just a game. Hey, I'm nobody's <laughs> girlfriend. The fuck it was. It was just a game. Yeah, the fuck it was, man. Jacob, grow up. Well, thanks for ruining the well, party. I, I should probably... I spent six here. hours setting it up with WASD. I should probably go find Abby. So, anybody want to play part cheesy? OMG, me. What? Someone's going to die. Nobody's going to die. This is my Uber Eats driver. Literally just said F this. Walked away. I think I did well. Nobody's dead. Welcome back. I am, as always, delighted that you're here. As always. I am. So then. Welcome back. What so. What more has been found? The hanged man. Yep. <laughs> to be the hanged man is to surrender, and by doing so, gain a new perspective. So look carefully and consider. That sometimes one needs to be strong. She's kind of doing Monka Giga go. featuring Robert Downey Jr. right now. But these are just words. There's more to show you. <laughs> she's you like, she's cooking alive in your hard drive right now. She's like, get me out. Get me out of here. Oh, sorry. Is he more? I'd like to see how things could go wrong.
That's all I have to say. I'd like to watch the video again. Secrets that looks like America. Jacob was hung upside down, but then Once they looked again, like they cut his out. throat. Be but the after go, the cut, he ran away, which fall. seems like... They cut the rope and he got free. He got released. He was getting a new perspective. Or his throat was cut and that was another dude disappearing. But I honestly don't care like what happens at Truth or Dare. I'm not walking alone in the woods. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? I would rather be bullied like for eight hours straight than walk alone through the woods. In fact, let's just go back, man. She's gonna get so many mosquito bites. Don't do it. I, oh, I can't possibly go back. I've come too far. Woods are comfy? Yeah, if you're a bug. Or a tree. Yeah, Manny. I'm calling back. Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Coming! Nick! Oh, there you are. Hey. I mean, uh, Nick. Hey. Um. Hi. You guys want to listen to the shins together? Uh, you ran off. No, I stormed off. If you want to be pedantic. I don't want to have to say this again, but this is where we had that boar attack earlier. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. Congratulations, you cheated the yeah, game. You cheated yourself. You learned nothing. It's just the game is such a weak attitude. So, all that stuff back there. Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck am I supposed to be I'm embarrassed, but I laughed really hard because somebody I'm in chat typed Morbius have sex time for sure. Yeah. It's just a game, right? 33 years old. Right. Do it. Do it. Why not? Why not? It's the last day of summer camp. It's a tender moment. I, I, I kiss my ex. I have sex. I poop, 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 poop my pants. I have sex. Nick is falling for you. No kidding. Morb jam, morb, morb jam. Should we look? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Dude, POV, you are the boar. POV, you are morbing. It's definitely the boar, and the boar is like, finally, they're gone. Now I can go back to sleep. Or, like, go back to being awake or whatever, because they're nocturnal. It's why you don't walk through the woods at night. It's the domain of the bear. This is this is POV. It's you are a bear. a bear. It's too fast, dude. You don't know. You think you're an animal expert? What are you in, like the twelfth grade? Run! 
Okay, I can do this. QTE. Okay, he's right. That doesn't seem to be a bear. Hell, you gotta help him! He, he, he's a good guy! Okay, QTE, QTE. Good, let's go! If that's Lance Henriksen. I'm ready. That was a tough one. Keep running. You can make it. This is not a hiding situation, in my opinion. Although they link. You left him? Well, I tried to save him for a second. Climb tree. I'm not gonna climb a tree. You did. Look, do you see how agile this thing is? You must be crazy. Although, I don't know if I'm gonna really outrun it either. We didn't see Nick's corpse. Like, usually in these games, you see his, like, eyes go lifeless. So we're... I think he's still alive, but that means he may transform into a Wendigo later. Dude. She's power stancing. She's charging her ult. She's taking a dump. She's still charging. It's a it's a channeled move. She can't interrupt, okay? Not yet. Okay, we're free. It's just that easy. It's just that simple. There. It's a fun game. Are you crying? Dude, being young is so exhausting. Like, ten minutes ago, this guy was gonna jump naked over a fire pit. Now he's crying at the damn dock. Well, 